Blessed Charles and Servant of God Zita were the parents of seven children. Despite their busy lives, they made practicing the faith a priority. Now that's impressive for any family, but it's especially impressive for Charles and Zita, who were the emperor and empress of the Austro-Hungarian Empire during the First World War. In 1916, Charles ascended to the Austro-Hungarian throne following the assassination of his cousin in 1914. As emperor and empress, Charles and Zita lived heroically for Christ and they worked tirelessly for peace despite the troubled times. Both Charles and Zita were devoted to the Eucharist. They made frequent visits to the Blessed Sacrament and taught their children to do the same. Charles was known to cross himself each time he drove by a church, aware that Jesus was present in the tabernacle within. In 1918, Charles consecrated his family to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. He was so dedicated also to pray each day with his family that he'd often have a special telephone installed wherever he traveled, even to the front lines of war. When the war ended, old alliances put the Austro-Hungarian Empire on the losing side. Charles was betrayed and dethroned, and the family was exiled. Arriving destitute on the island of Madeira, the family immediately found a church and prayed before the Eucharist, offering Jesus all of their suffering. With nothing left and unable to provide for his children, the family was now on the brink of starvation. And then Charles' health failed. But even then, Charles and Zita remained faithful. Charles' last words to his wife were, I will love you endlessly. In the heart of Jesus, we will meet again. He died gazing at the Blessed Sacrament. The particulars of our lives might look dramatically different from that of Charles and Zita, yet many of the struggles we face are the same. We are all too busy and we all deal with terrific stress. Yet just like Charles and Zita, we will only find peace and clarity when we remain united as a family in Jesus, who is fully present in the sacrifice of the Mass.